Good morning, brethren. Praise the Lord for this new day. Here's something from the Word of God. 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. After one Sunday, a little girl who had been taught in the Sunday school about the second coming in her, in her, uh, class, uh, she was uh, quizzing her mother, asking her her mother uh, some questions. Mommy, do you believe that Jesus is coming back? Yes. Could it be today? Yes. Could it be in a few minutes? Yes. The little girl said, Mommy, would you comb my hair? We have no greater incentive for godly living than the fact that Jesus could come any time and that he is coming again. For example, when a company, or when, when special people would be coming to your house, you prepare. You make preparations. Everything is cleaned and straightened up so that you will not be embarrassed when your guests arrive. We do that, right? Now, if you have things in your heart that need to be changed, things in your life that you have to... Uh, straight and things in your heart that you ha you need to be honest uh, with the Lord about. So uh, we settle it, okay? We, we try to uh, prepare the best we could so that we would be ready to face our, our Lord. When we truly believe that the Lord's return is imminent, we will not delay making the necessary changes. You know, Jesus might come anytime. He might come today. So whatever it is that we need to uh, uh, put off in our lives, whatever it is that we need to confess to the Lord or things in our lives that we need to change, don't delay. Make the necessary changes so that when Jesus comes, we can face him with a smile. We will not be ashamed and we can hear his commending words. Well done. Well done. God bless you. And may the Lord give you the strength and wisdom for the challenges of this day. Good morning.